What's going on guys? Lyharmonic installation of Gen 2 speakers here at this Model Y. You could also get it on Model 3. And let's go ahead and listen to the sound system. Wow, super clear sound system from the original over to the new sound system. Let's go ahead and show you guys the, this is our settings. 0, 0, 2, 0, 2, 0, 1, 5, negative 1.5 and negative 2.5. But guys, save your guys' self some money with our coupon code in the description below. Let's go ahead and show you guys this tutorial video. So now we're going to be bringing you guys the installation for the Light Harmonic speaker sound system. Before we even get into the installation, I wanna explain some stuff to you guys. So starting off with the mid-range speakers, I wanted to show you guys that we will be installing generation two speakers and that goes from the door speakers over to the mid-range and the subwoofers and also that mid-range tweeter that some models don't have. We're gonna be showing you guys how to activate that with the little Y pigtail that Light Harmonic now gives you in their packages. So, how do you know this is a Light Harmonic Generation 2? Let's show you guys. If I go ahead and pop up the mid-range speakers, see this red magnet here? This allows you to know that this is a Model Y Generation 2, okay? So red, Generation 2 Model Y. Also for the subwoofer, same thing. Light Harmonic, put the red magnet on the subwoofer, Generation 2. And also for the door speakers, but Light Harmonic had the door speakers in the Generation 2 now for a few months, okay? So don't quote me on the exact time, but they had the red magnets and they've been out for a few months now. We're going to be installing this, so check out our videos uh, of the tutorial step-by-step. Step. Uh, hopefully it's very helpful for our viewers. Also, the mid-range tweeter that was absent, we're going to be showing you guys that and installing that with this Y piece, as I mentioned, that activates that mid-range tweeter that had been missing in certain models depending on the time that the car was made. Okay, now another thing I'd like to mention to you guys is if it's a Model 3 and you want Generation 2 speakers, they are yellow on the back with the magnets. So no red, Model 3 Generation 2 will be yellow. So keep an eye out for that. If you guys are in the Sacramento area, you guys want someone to install, I'm open to installing and doing the work. Uh, here's my email. Email us and we could talk details later. Uh, also, if you do buy through our channel, anything through uh, our channel on Light Harmonic with our coupon code in the description below, you will save yourself some money. Check out our other videos in the past for Generation 1 uh, setups and things of that sort. Save yourself some money and use our coupon code, and it really helps us out here at the channel at Vagabond Builds. If you like our content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Now let's go ahead and show you guys the installation for the Light Harmonic Generation 2 speakers. So before we start the installation, I just wanted to show you guys the equalizer and what settings we have. Equalizer, the sub, the base, 0.0, 2.0, 2.0, 1.5, 1 1.5, and negative 2.5. We are going to keep these settings uh, from the stock system over to the new system so you guys get an idea of how it sounds. Now, uh, for the people who have the questions of what's different between Generation 1 and Generation 2, I'm not that big of the tech. I'm just uh, installing, and uh, if you guys do have questions, here's the link to Light Harmonic, and they will show you guys the exact differences between the Generation 1 and Generation 2s, everybody, okay? So let's go ahead and play some music for you guys. I got a song ready. Turn it up. So that's the sound with the stock system, and we've been getting a lot of good feedback with the Light Harmonic from Generation 1s. Uh, I do believe, personally, dropping the Generation 2s is going to be a better sound than the regular stock OEM uh, Tesla sound system. Let's go ahead and start this um, installation video with uh, beginning of the door panels. Okay, so a quick tutorial of how to take the door panel off and to replace the door speaker. So this video would be more focused on the door speaker um, generation two light harmonic. Now, there's three places you have to remove some Torque 30 screws and that's right behind this little red reflector here. 
There's also gonna be a Torque 30 screw right here under your armrest here. And then there's gonna be a Torque 30 screw right here on top, right near the door switch, okay? You're gonna remove those Torque 30s. They should come out. And we're going to go ahead and pop this panel off the door. So what you wanna do is slide this plastic um, panel remover. Don't use metal because you don't want to scratch your paint. Remember, uh, be really uh, finesse so you don't want to break anything. But take those three screws out and then we're going to go ahead and remove that panel. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Okay, so now we remove the three screws. I had done them before and the three screws look like this, Torque 30, that's how the screw look. You take them out, you pop that panel off and it's gonna be a nice little tug so don't feel like you're breaking it but uh, you're gonna slide that plastic uh, panel remover and pull towards you when you're removing that panel. Before you do, you want to remove the tweeter speaker cover here and the way you do that, there are literally gonna be two clips on this, one and two, okay? One and two clips and that literally is going to get pulled towards the sky, okay? So you're gonna pop that off, go in, and then just let it hang there, okay? We supported the door panel because we don't wanna uh, remove everything off the door panel because it's just easier that way. And it opens up to us the door speaker on the um, Model Y here. So we're gonna remove this plug, push that tongue, and then there's screws here that is Torque 25, okay? around the speaker. And we're gonna go ahead and remove that with our Torque 25. Now we're done removing the OEM original speaker. So there's two Torques up top, that's Torque 25. One Torque on the bottom left, and then there's a size eight on the bottom right uh, socket. So I grabbed out my size eight socket and removed that. So we unplugged it, and now we're gonna go ahead and install the Generation 2 Light Harmonic speakers now remember, generation two is red. Just like that, and this is what it looks like between both, okay? This one looks a whole lot more upgraded, better look, and better sound. Uh, ever since I've been doing this, we've gotten some uh, pretty good reviews on the Light Harmonic, um, me just installing it for like buddies and things like that. Okay, let's go ahead and reinstall this. Just like that, and then it goes back exactly the same way you took everything off. Let's go ahead and do that one. So door speaker is installed, and the beautiful thing is that the light harmonics do come plug and play. You don't have to splice anything or cut any wires and attach, but it comes as a plug and play, and you're gonna slip that in, and it should clip right in. And you hear a clip. Sorry, I was holding it with my finger. You're gonna tuck that in a little bit, just like that, and then we're gonna go ahead and set everything back on, and we're done with one. We're gonna go ahead and do the second one. Okay, so just quickly, um, we're on the right side, the passenger side now. We're gonna be doing the same exact steps, three bolts, pop that uh, panel off with that tweeter cover, and we're going to replace that OEM speaker with the generation two, and then we're gonna put everything back on and go to the mid-range speakers. Let's do that. So before we get to the mid-range speakers, just wanted to show you guys the same exact thing, plug and play from Light Harmonic, very convenient. Clips right in, just like that, tuck it away. And we're gonna drop those torques in and then put everything back. And then we're gonna get to the mid-range. So now three mid-range speakers, one on the driver's side, one in the middle, and one on the passenger side. Three total, we're gonna be showing you guys how to do the installation. So what we're gonna start with is removing these panels here on the side. Okay, we're gonna remove this panel, remove this one, and then remove this A-pillar panel. That's gonna open us access over to that mid-range cover. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. All right, what you're gonna do to remove this are those two little tongues on the right and the left. You're gonna squeeze them together and this is gonna allow this A-pillar to pop out. You got three clips, one, two, three, actually four, four total, okay? Set that aside. And that opens up to you the um, mid-range uh, cover. The reason you had to remove all that is because there's a tongue here that literally sits under the A-pillar cover. Now let's go ahead and remove that mid-range cover.
mid-range cover is slightly removed and it opens up to us the driver side and the middle of that uh, mid-range that we can go ahead and remove that with the torque uh, screws. Okay, let's go ahead and remove those three torque screws on each one. So one, two, three. They also come plug and play. We're gonna remove that speaker and then place one back in. Let's go ahead and sh show you guys how to do that. Okay, so first speaker is removed. All right, you got three Torque 20 screws and the plug there, okay? And in order to remove that plug, you have a little tongue on the harness side and you gotta push that tongue up. See that little tongue there? Push that tongue up and then slide it out. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this side of the panels. So we're gonna remove this panel, this panel, and the A-pillar panel so we can completely remove that full cover because we can't get to that passenger side unless we remove this side too. Now we're gonna do the same exact steps as we did on the driver's side. Let's do that. So now the passenger side, we removed the plastic covers, okay? Then we removed uh, the A-pillar cover and then we removed the three screws, Torque 20, out of the passenger side speaker and that pops right up. We slipped that plug out and now this is where it we have it and we're going to go ahead and remove that middle one too. Okay, so this is the third speaker removed. We weren't aware that there was no tweeter uh, area in this Model Y. Some uh, Model 3s and Ys do come with it, but this one didn't have that uh, Sp space for the tweeter. Check out our other um, videos. We do have other videos that contain that tweeter um, location, okay? So now let's go ahead and plug these in. Now the nice thing about the Light Harmonic, they have extra pigtail and you literally don't have to sit there and reach with the speaker in it where you could just go ahead and plug and play the pigtail just like that and kind of tuck it in and slide in that speaker make sure that wire doesn't get in your way also okay so the plug was in the way and that wire was in the way so uh you just kind of have to tuck them in a little bit and it sits pretty much flush to the um, plastic panel and you're going to drop those three torque 20 screws in just like that. And now you have the generation twos in the mid range. We're going to go ahead and put all three in and reinstall all the panels too. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we installed the passenger in the middle uh, mid range speaker. Uh, I wanted to stop and show you guys on the driver's side when I go ahead and install it, uh, being a kind of increased size in the, in the magnet, it slightly touches this little plastic panel right here. So what you do is you kind of have to slip it in. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Slip it in like that into where you kind of just give it a nice little, uh, kind of nice little uh, push to where it kind of pushes that little plastic panel and then it kind of sits flush, okay? So I don't want you guys to think that it's uh, not fitting, but overall it literally sits and then you drop those three Torque 20 screws in and it kind of just nice and flush, okay? All right, kind of see how it plays a little bit. That plastic is keeping it. You could also throw some washers in there. That's also an option. But um, overall, I'm not going to throw the op uh, the um, washers. I'm just going to kind of put it into play, okay? There's some glue under there too. That, that glue on top of that um, uh, metal frame might be um, messing with the magnet from going in also. So I'm sure it might be different on different cars, the way the glue settled and things of that sort but you could drop that in and let's go ahead and do that and put the panels on now. So now we're putting the mid range cover on and I wanna to mention to you guys that you literally have to kind of slide it in to these little pockets, okay? So you have little tongues on the um, panel itself, the cover, and you gotta kind of angle it to where it slides in and tucks into those pockets because if you don't get those down, what happens is your uh, cover sits high, okay? So we're gonna do that, make sure it's in. Just like that. Get this side, they're on both sides too. 
Now what you want to do is once they're slide in, I'm going to use a flat head or a plastic panel uh, thing. And what we're going to do is we're going to slightly just push these tongues in because you don't want to hit those metal clips down because they kind of fall into the dashboard and you're going to have a real hard time uh, trying to get them out of the dashboard with magnets and things of that sort. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, all done. And we're gonna go ahead and put the A-pillar covers on and we're gonna slide those in. So remember, these have to slide into that little lip there on both sides and here, just like that. It's gonna drop in and then you're gonna make sure that it kind of lines up with your clip areas. Right, we're gonna make sure you put this little clip in here. See that right there? Drop that in. And then you're gonna make sure it lines all up and it should just kind of snap into play. I mean, slap in, snap into place. Okay, so we're done with the mid-range speakers. Covers are all on. Now let's go ahead and shoot over to the back and do the subwoofer here in the back trunk. And we already had taken out the mats, so you gotta take out both mats to the uh, trunk space, all right? And then we're gonna start removing panels. Now, first panel I removed is this one here. It literally pops up, okay? So you're gonna literally pop it up towards the sky. And remember this little gasket here, this weather uh, gasket, is gonna be sitting right on top of this plastic lip. So when you're pulling them out, just make sure uh, you're either sliding it from under that gasket, okay? Set it aside. Now, we got uh, two plastic pins here, okay? And once you go ahead and remove that plastic, it opens up to you this here, this kind of longer plastic. You're gonna, again, pull that up towards the sky, just like that. And that pops it out, out of all these right there. And then you're gonna have to remove two of these plastic clips, okay? And that plastic clip goes there, here on that carpet. And then the other one goes right here on this plastic, just like that, okay? So two of those, you're gonna use a flathead for that. Just like that. And now we're gonna remove, this piece just comes right out, just like that, all right? Very easy, simple, straight to the point. And now we're going to have to remove this whole panel, all right? So you can pop it out of this line here. They literally clip into each other, okay? Or you could just pop out the whole panel together. Let's go ahead and show you how to do that. All right, now this panel is out and you can see it kind of clips out of everything here along that line. And it opens up to us the subwoofer. And this subwoofer is held on, of course it's plugged in here, all right, but it's held on by the torque screws. We're gonna remove those torque, the four torque screws, very easy. And you're gonna remove that subwoofer, unplug it, and then go ahead and plug in that new one. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the Model Y is a whole lot easier than the Model 3. Um, this, you are completely opened up to the subwoofer and the Torque 20 screws. There's four Torque 20 screws. Okay, so this is the sub. All right, kind of cheap looking, right? But you're going to go ahead and slide this out. There's a little tongue right here that slides right out. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our generation two subwoofer. And honestly, this looks a whole lot more, a little bit more upgrade or a whole lot more expensive compared to, of course, the Tesla kind of cheaper look. All right, look at the magnets on that. Just very cool. And then also the framing, just a whole lot more kind of upper class framing. And then you're going to go ahead and slide this in, torque 24 bolts, put them in, and the plug literally plugs in into this also, okay? So let's go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Okay. 
So subwoofers and completely installed. Uh, the Torque 20 screws uh, dropped in, four of them. And uh, I got, I made sure to tuck away that extra pigtail that the light harmonic uh, subwoofer comes with to make it kind of a, a cleaner job. And it's all secured, everything. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put back the panels the way we took them off. Make sure your clips are in, okay? All those little white pieces. We're gonna slide that in, just like that. Might have a little bit of, just, all right. And just make sure everything lines up before you start forcing plastics and all that stuff. And this is just clipping real nice, okay? If you're fighting it, you're not doing something right. So don't break anything. After we're done with that, we're gonna drop everything back in. Let's go ahead and shoot over and uh, do a sound test with everything installed. So now done with the full six speakers that we changed. We did the sub, the two door speakers, and then the three mid-range. Unfortunately, we, uh, this Model Y didn't come with that mid-range um, tweeter, but there are Model 3s and Model Ys, depending on the date of the manufacturing uh, car, of the car. And you can get that tweeter with the Y piece for it. You could also get the two tweeters here, this one and the one on the passenger side, and also the two speakers on the tailgate lid itself. So I go ahead and lift open that tailgate. There's two speakers on that tailgate. You could also get that as a full package, everybody. Um, I'm mentioning that so you guys get an idea of what you guys are looking for, what it looks like when they're off and the installation and how hard or how easy it is, okay? Just for uh, food for thought. Now let's go ahead and do the sound test. Um, a lot of people were saying with the sound test that uh, the speakers need to be broken in, but right off the bat i took a listen to it and it just it sounds a whole lot better everybody let's go ahead and turn up the music now we kept the equalizer the same exact settings let's go back right here a whole lot more clear Super clear, honestly, from the OEM speakers. And of course, people are going to be thinking that I'm trying to strike up a sale or anything. I'm not. It's not a sponsored video. All right. It does help us out if you buy. But honestly, I'm just giving you honest opinion. The speakers sound a whole lot better, along with a lot of my buddies are saying the same thing, especially when they break in. So they continue to play the speakers. The speakers break in and it just becomes a whole lot better sound. Okay. Yep, we're blessed, everybody. All right. Now, we are completely done. The sound is awesome and glorious on this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching our tutorial video. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. As mentioned, if you guys are in Sacramento area, you guys want to... Uh, uh, me, want me to do the installation. I'm totally open. Email me and we can talk details later. Thank you guys so much. Keep watching Vagabond Builds. Uh, God bless you guys. Stay tuned.